。首先，请大家观看一段视频，请看大屏幕。是由澳洲中华经贸文化交流促进会主办，澳大利亚南海文化集团传媒集团承办。在此，我仅代表灯会的主办方和承办方，向大家致以节日的问候，并对各位来宾的光临表示最衷心的感谢和最热烈的欢迎。每当过春节，我们悉尼人最期待的就是一年一度的中国新年灯会，因为每年的这个时候呢，我们悉悉尼的情人港就成了火树银花不夜天的世界，在花灯的装扮下变得格外的璀璨耀眼、绚丽多姿，洋溢着喜庆祥和的浓浓的节日气氛。澳洲各地的华人华侨、悉尼本地的人民，还有众多的游客们，都聚集在这边观看我们这个情人港的花灯，共赏花灯，共度佳节。灯会已成为澳洲史上规模最大的华人庆祝农历新年的灯会活动，也是悉尼华人社区庆祝春节最大的标志性的活动。那现在，让我们用最热烈的掌声，来有请华贸会的王福官主席上台致辞。尊敬的中华人民共和国驻澳大利亚大使馆特命全程大使陈敬业阁下、联邦团队党领袖、代表联邦助理银子、财长马特·齐斯威特议员，尊敬的中华人民共和国驻悉尼总领事馆王芳代总领事。尊敬的新州州长的代表、新州多元文化部长威廉姆斯议员，尊敬的新州团队党领袖麦克戴利阁下，尊敬的新理事市长莫尔女士，尊敬的中国驻澳大利亚大使馆、中国驻悉尼总领事馆的各位领导、各位联邦议员、新州议员、市议员。各位社团领袖、华贸会成员、女士们、先生们及媒体朋友们，大家晚上好。首先，请允许我代表华贸会全体同仁，祝在座的各位贵宾新年快乐，一元复始，万象更新，春节的是新的开始。预示着新的希望，引领我们走向蓬勃的二零幺九年。这是新春佳节美好时刻，我们再次欢聚一堂，在美丽的悉尼青年港隆重举行二零幺九悉尼中国青年灯会开幕式。在此，我仅代表澳洲中华经贸文化交流促进会，在此，我仅代表澳洲。啊！中华经贸文化交流促进会向所有关心和支持华贸会的各个单位及朋友，致以最诚挚的建立问候和新春祝福。衷心感谢澳洲两国政府对华贸会工作的高度重视，衷心感谢澳大利亚各个社团以及媒体朋友们一如既往的支持，感谢华贸会全体同仁。默默的工作和无私的奉献。回首过去，华贸会成功举办了世界心理中国新年灯会，带来了澳大利亚主流和华人华侨的高度肯定和赞扬。这场盛会不仅成为心理庆庆祝中国新年规模最大的标志性的活动之一，而且还成为。
，除了中国以外最大的青春灯会庆典，更是将中国传统春节的文化带到了欧洲。今天，我们再度点亮新米青年港，在新春佳节之际，不仅让欧洲华人感受到中国春节的喜庆氛围。更让无数欧洲社团、社区和来自其他国家的游客对中国传统文化一见倾心。与此同时，在今年的中国青年灯会上，我们更是有幸邀请到中国著名女演员刘晓庆女士担任本届灯会的形象大使。我们希望通过刘晓庆女士。参与能够让这场灯会给欧洲华人和主流社会的文化生活添上浓墨重彩的重了一笔，在热闹的氛围中度过温馨愉快的中国年。如今，新年中国新年灯会已经成为促进中澳两国文化交流、丰富欧洲多元文化的重要平台和亮点。并逐渐成为欧洲华人华侨以及主流社会最期待的年度文化盛事之一。在此，我衷心感谢以及南海传媒集团大家为悉尼中国青年灯会的精心筹办与付出，以及为促进澳中文化交流所做出的贡献。我们会将继续通过。悉尼中国新年灯会进一步促进欧洲多元文化社会的和谐发展，以弘扬中国文化为己任，将博大精深的中华文化与欧洲人民一同共享。最后，我衷心祝愿二零幺九新年中国啊中国新年灯会圆满成功，祝大家猪年大吉，诸事顺利，身体健康。And next, uh, I'd like to invite a very important person. He's the uh, Chinese ambassador. Uh, 让我们大家掌声有请中国驻澳大利亚大使馆特命全权大使啊，陈敬业阁下。Let's welcome His Excellency, Mr. Chen Jingye. Happy Chinese New Year! It's a real delight for me to join you again at. Tambalong Park for the opening of the Sydney Chinese New Year Lantern Festival show, organised by uh, Asetka. Next Tuesday, that is the fifth, fifteenth of the first lunar month, uh, will be the Chinese Lantern Festival. Another highlight. In Chinese New Year celebrations, the key one of the key feature of the Lantern Festival, the Lantern Shows, not only add to the festival atmosphere and happiness, but also bear people's better、uh, the best wishes for better life. In the past two weeks, I think I mean. We have witnessed a lot of celebrations and activities in many cities in this country, from Sydney to Melbourne, from Brisbane to Adelaide, and others. These cities, I think, are, as I said,、uh, are immersed in a kind of jubilant festi festivities with New Year concerts, street parade. Folk fair, line dancing, lantern display, and popular art performances. These rich and colourful activities have drawn hundreds of thousands of the local people who join the Chinese community to share the happiness of the celebrations. I think, as it is rightly pointed out, Chinese New Year. Uh, it's no longer a celebration within the Chinese community. Rather, it is celebration of entire, to some extent, entire 
Australian society. And it has become, I think, an important part of the Australian cultural calendar. And I also noticed uh, with appreciation the participation of many Australian federal and local politicians in these activities and the greetings that has, has been extended to the Chinese community. I think this is a compliment to the contributions, the outstanding contributions made by the Chinese community. But also it shows that Australians strong commitment to multiculturalism. While displaying the unique charm of Chinese culture and tradition, celebrations of Chinese New Year also provide a platform for different cultures to learn from each other and thrive together, leading to better mutual understanding. And during the one thing, I think during the Spring Festival, a large number of Chinese tourists coming to this country, I mean, also provides both business opportunities and stronger people-to-people -people links. So it's my hope, my sincere hope that in the new year, China-Australia relationship will maintain sound and steady development. And finally, I wish the Chinese New Year Lantern Show a full success and also wish the year of peak will bring you, all of you good luck, good health, prosperity and happiness. And I think before concluding, I would like to say a few words in Mandarin to the Chinese community. 来到悉尼和大家一起共度新春佳节那么在这里代表中华大量使馆向大家致以非常亲切的新年的祝福那么大家知道新年是中华人民共新中国成立七十周年也是中国迈向建设全面建成小康社会关键的一年那么希望广大
this wonderful festival. Sydney actually has the largest Lunar New Year festival of any country outside of mainland Asia. And that's something that we can be very, very proud of. And it's a great representation of the cultural heritage and the contribution that Chinese people have made to the multiculturalism and wonderful culture of Sydney. For that, we thank you. We thank you and wish your families all the very best for the new year. Yuan Xiao Jie Kuai Le, Xin Yang Kuai Le, Xie Xie Da Jia. 那我们掌声有请新州州长代表、新州多元文化部长 William 慈心议员，大家掌声有请。But importantly, the Chinese community here in Sydney, who always turn out in large numbers to celebrate the end of the Lunar New Year and the lighting of the lanterns. Can I say what a pleasure it is to be here representing our Premier, the Honourable Gladys Berejiklian. And to the 500,000 people of Chinese ancestry, many of whom are gathered here, many of whom live in Sydney, can I say to you and express on behalf of our Premier our deepest appreciation for the outstanding contribution that you make every day, not only by virtue of the many, many businesses that you run, your commitment to the employment that you provide, but also your strong support of our social cohesion and through your expression of cultural diversity, we are the great beneficiaries and get to celebrate this wonderful festival as part of the Chinese Lunar New Year. Ladies and gentlemen, at the beginning of the Chinese Lunar New Year, I had the greatest opportunity, together with our Premier Gladys Berejiklian, to undertake the most respectful gesture, and that was to light the iconic sails of the Sydney Opera House in that bright colour of red. Acknowledging the Chinese community here in New South Wales, here in Australia. Can I wish you all a wonderful and safe Lunar New Year and a wonderful and prosperous Year of the Pig, Shasha. We're going to get that to everybody, and uh, thanks to uh, Matt Thistlethwaite for making all the speakers of non Chinese background who come up to speak tonight after him feel completely and utterly inadequate. <laughs> and I thank uh, ACE, TCA, and Mr. Wang for the invitation tonight. It is terrific to be here. I don't know about you, but I've had a terrific week. Uh, all week attending Chinese events, had great fun. It's getting bigger and bigger this year, um, the, this Chinese Lu Lunar New Year celebration. And so it should. I think Ambassador Chang summed it up best when he said the Chinese New Year in Australia is no longer a celebration within the Chinese community. It's broken out all over New South Wales, all over Australia, as it should, as people from all backgrounds, from all corners of the globe, learn to appreciate each other's culture. And of course, uh, not only do we celebrate 200 years of Chinese migration to Australia, this year it's a special occasion for New South Wales as we celebrate the 40th anniversary of the signing of the sister city relationship between New South Wales and our sister, our sister state, Guangdong signed all those years ago by a great Labor Premier, Neville Wren, in 1979. China is Australia's largest trading partner, and I've always believed, in fact, we all do, that the half a million Chinese Australians in New South Wales are, as you said, Ambassador, the bridge between our two cultures. And so thank you very much for inviting all of us here tonight to share in what is not just a special occasion for Chinese Australians, but for Australia and all of our nation as well. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. And I too think Matt Thistlewaite was very impressive. And um, I've, got, I've got to say, you know, um, sometimes you struggle with English, but I so admire, you know, all, all our, our um, Australian Chinese citizens here who have conquered our language and feel ashamed we haven't yet con con conquered yours, whether it be Mandarin or Cantonese. Anyway, you impressed us, Matt, so thank you. <laughs> representing uh, representing um, Australian elected representatives. So um, I, I too would like to acknowledge the original custodians of our land, the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation and pay my respects to their elders, both past and present. 
And I'd also like to acknowledge the people of the very many nations who live here in our city. And on behalf of the city and the hundreds and thousands of Sydney siders who will delight in this gorgeous display, I would like to thank the Australian China Economics, Trade and Culture Association and Nanhai Culture and M Media for organising and presenting the 2019 New Year Lantern Festival. Now in its fifth year, it's the biggest Chinese community organised event in Australia, involving the Chinese business community as well as the wider cultural and linguistic communities right across Sydney. In China, of course, the Lantern Festival is a tradition established more than 2,000 years ago and is a major activity of the China, Chinese New Year and the spring celebrations. Here it arrives towards the end of our summer and it gives us the opportunity to enjoy our harbourside setting and see it transformed with beautiful lighting, with activities and food stalls, offering traditional foods and artefacts, over 60 of them this year. For the first time, the festival features a fully integrated light display linking all the major light installations around Tumbalong Park. The star attraction is a great wall lantern display stretching all 30 metres across the park and its imposing entrance gate almost three storeys high. It was a magnificent, it is a magnificent finale to the city's Sydney Luna Festival. And we're really proud of the festival this year. It has been so successful, the thousands of visitors, the 80 events that, 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 that we put on, the, um, the, the great pleasure that it gave our, um, our very many Asian communities. And uh, it wrapped up last Sunday and it um, marks a wonderful welcome to the Year of the Pig, one of the luckiest years in the Chinese zodiac, I'm told. So once again, I'd like to thank all the organisers and I'd like to wish everyone a happy and safe and prosperous year. And I'd like to say I was very honoured to be invited to speak to you tonight. And I too would like to acknowledge all the very many distinguished guests who are here too, to also share with you this great event. So thank you very much, everyone. 那我们掌声有请澳大利亚南海传媒集团总裁李斌先生上台致辞。Honourable guests, ladies and gentlemen, I want, I want to show my thanks to all of you here tonight. As you know, this year is the fifth year of Chinese New Year Latin Festival in Sydney. Five years is not a short time. As a presenter, we are so proud to present this authentic Chinese Latin Festival to the people of different nationalities in Sydney. We hope the people to have opportunity to share the happiness of the Year of Pig. Thanks to ACETCA, the organizer of the event. Thanks to all the supporters of, of the events. Thanks to, thanks to my colleagues who have done a great job year after year. Enjoy the Latin. Happy the Year of Pig. Thank you. 那每年在我们这个新年灯会当中女士们先生们我感到非常荣幸五千年历史的东方巨龙的无限魅力
，用代表喜庆的中国红，点亮整个悉尼吧！谢谢大家，中国新年快乐！谢谢。Can you aim? Oh, but... Yeah, I'll get there, right? That's fine, it's easier. Give it a few more seconds for everyone to stand up, line up, and get your best position on the stage. Can you step closer? Okay, are we ready? All right. On the count of three in English, but no, we'll do it in Chinese. One, two, three, Angela, please. San, I, Yi. Three, two, one. And there we have it, the cutting of the official ribbon. Uh, VIP guests, if I could ask you to stay in your places. Oh my God, thank you. As we invite our guests from rows two and three and the fourth row to come join us. We'll mention you by name. Uh, so now we're inviting row number three. Four and five. So, for those remaining, we Oh, two to my way.